Today, I'm gonna beat FC24 without spending any money. I'm gonna create a brand new account and take it to the top divisions all the way from the lowest division, Division 10. Throughout this journey, I will play the weekend league. I will complete any objective. I will do anything I possibly can to bring new players to my starting 11 because I'll take them from a bronze team to a beast team. But again, I cannot spend one cent on the game. This journey is gonna be tough. But it's gonna be fun. And I know I'm gonna put together an amazing team, but getting to the top division will be a challenge for sure. But I think we can do it. So let's begin. Anytime I do one of these challenges, I make sure I go into it with a good game plan. Like the number one focus for me right now is to collect as many packs and put my team as big as possible before I get to division three, two, and one. Because you wanna have a team that can compete against other people. Now remember, when you when I get to these division, these high divisions, I'm not gonna have a team that's as good as these guys. There's been two, people have been playing this game for too long, there's just no way. But I need to have a team that I feel that I can compete with. So if objectives send me into draft, if objectives send me into the weekend league, if objectives send me into squad battles, I will do it. But with, over the next 24 hours, or maybe a little bit more than 24 hours, I will get to elite division and I will beat this game 1 million percent. I believe in myself. The first thing I get really lucky here and I get these packs that everyone gets I guess when you make an account and I get pretty lucky because I get Conde and I get a very very nice icon Pirlo and we would definitely be using them but the main goal like I said is to get as many objectives done as possible I know off the top of my mind with this season right now Fabingo is available to us at level three four or five or something like that so we got to get as much XP as possible I also know that Bobby Moore is available to us by just playing the game so I'm gonna make sure I unlock players like Bobby Moore I'm gonna attack every, every 83 by 10 every 83 by 10 every 83 by 20 that's available i don't really have the focus to go into the weekend league i, I want to avoid the weekend league but if packs are good enough i will do that now that my team is together the first thing we're going to do is head directly into division number 10. a win in the next game means we win the division hoping my opponent's team is kind of trash and it's not 97 pele oh goodness come on man let's score early Let's score early. Yeah, 1-0 two minutes in. That's exactly what we needed. Big goal for my bro. Big goal, big goal. Got to score. Don't miss. Got to score. Don't miss. Got to score. Don't miss. Good goal, 3-1. 14-4 is pretty crazy. I never like to run the score up on my opponents, but objectives are a really big thing right now. We're trying to unlock as many packs as possible. Either way, objective number one is complete. We are now into Division 9. We have beat the first division of the game. We got a few more to go. I mean, a lot more to go. But our next, uh, our next task is to go check what we got from objectives. We've officially reached level two, which means we're going to get at least one pack out of this. We unlocked an 83 by 3. Another two packs unlocked, 75 by five. These right here could be good. From beating division 10, we've officially unlocked 21 packs. If I get anything good, I will show you. Our first special card is, a cu is coming. Our first special card of the series. Very nice. I think this is a team of the season that would be absolutely lit. It's not a team of the season. I lied. But it is a nice little 89 rated right back. We will definitely use this. We got ourselves another special card here. Our second special card. It's a striker from Manchester United. It's going to be Ho Hojlan. Hopefully I said that right. He probably for sure is going into the starting 11 as well. This is a big pickup for us. Got ourselves another special card here. This actually could be an icon. It is an icon, our first icon of the mini series, and it's going to be team of the year, Chavi. Big pickup here, our highest rated card going into our team. Rocking the Argentinian jersey. It looks good on you, Chavi. We went into Division 10 with our team looking like this. My bad, I did get a red card. We have no more bronze cards in our starting 11. The team is looking way better, and the Division 9 should be uh, hopefully fun. Our next goal is obviously to achieve Division 8, but on the way there, we want to make sure we're banging out as many objectives physically possible in these games. So if there's any way to unlock any player at all, we want to make sure we're doing that. Threw a couple USA players into the team, also three Premier League players, because I'm unlocking two new cards out of objectives. I was hoping my opponent's team is not that good, but it's really good. He has Sonny D up top. I need to score a goal from outside the box, but there's no time for that. I need to make sure that we lock up the win is because once you're streaking you don't want to let you don't want to lose or tie because your streak will go away so we got to jump two games right there and we are division uh, we are into division eight already we have completed another uh, a level which means we're going to get an 81 by 11 that's a nice looking pack hopefully it upgrades us big time i could really use a good goalkeeper out of this we're not even going to get a special card though i was had a lot of hopes for that pack i'm going to be honest with you 
that one didn't pan out at all before i collect the rest of my packs which are a lot as you can see i'm working towards this guy right here and i already am three games away from having him done i just need to win with premier league players i'm also working towards having this girl right here and i'm very close to having her done i need to win one more game and score one goal from outside the box i'm also working towards bobby moore and i'm literally like seven games or eight games away from having him done you just gotta play games pretty much now unlock him so we officially have 10 packs and if i get anything special out of these then i will show you i only see a special card and it's gonna be a goalkeeper it's actually kind of what i was looking for it's a team of the, it's not a team of the season that's kind of annoying i thought it was a team of the season i thought i was getting a team of the season goalkeeper there we get a, a special card but it's not what we were looking for last pack is going to be a special oh i thought i was getting mo salah bro i thought i was getting mo salah bro i really thought i was getting mo salah we pick up a 90 rated striker with 98 pace that's a lot of speed i like speed speed kills in fifa and fc so we're in a good spot when it comes to that it's now officially time to tackle division eight and make it into division number seven. Problem is our team won't really be seeing any upgrades if I'm being honest with you. We did get a few players that can be thrown in, but I still need to finish off the American players and the Premier League players to unlock a pink card. If we can pick up a win in the next game, that will put us into division number seven. At this point, I stopped using the players from the MLS because I no longer need that. We've got everything complete. Check out the opponent's team and okay, okay. Okay, this is not bad. This is similar to ours. We open up with a quick goal, and I'm not exactly sure if my opponent is playing. Score. Let's go. He was playing. He was playing, but four minutes in, we're up 2-0, and we are cruising to division number seven. Put that in. Yes. I am really trying to make my opponent rage quit as quickly as possible because I'm excited for my next upgrades. I want to see what we've completed in objectives and make the team better. We're going to force a quick rage quit against Justin. We're going to win 3-0. We're going to move into Division 7. Very nicely done. Still undefeated on the account. Cruising through divisions. We got 15 objectives to claim. That's a lot. Our first massive upgrade of the series is a 95 rated Premier League player. This is a exactly what we needed he's gonna slot right into this right mid position perfectly and now i don't have to waste the games on mcmenamin and i can save him for later in the up like later in divisions our next upgrade is going to be a 94 rated striker with 99 pace she's gonna be able to go directly into the striker position saving our loan as well this is a lovely upgrade we're gonna save 20 games on the loan striker for later in divisions as well and we're gonna bring her in and she's gonna get full chem it did affect the chemistry of the team a little bit but that's okay i'm not too focused on chemistry right now let's go open packs got nine packs here if i get anything special i'll show you we finally get a special card in our very last pack it's a german right back we'll see if that's actually what it is it looks like that's what it's gonna be again we already have her which is even which makes it even be like more important for us to start dabbling into some SBCs. I hope I'm not making too much of a mistake here, but the first SBC or the first major SBC, I guess I should say that I'm actually going to complete is going to be the 87 part of the 92 plus pack. The only thing that kind of stinks now for us to get that 88 off, we're going to have to hit a big card somewhere that we're okay turning in, which I'm okay turning any card in. And we actually might get, is this a pink? That's not a pink card. I got excited, but that's not a pink card, is it? I really got excited. That's not pink. Oh, we're going to get a double walkout here. This is very good. We just talked about needing something big, and this is something big. We're going to get two cards here, but one of them is an 86 that I already have duplicate. That's annoying. Get a special card. It's German, and it's a right back. I don't want to act like it's a team. Is that the, That's going to be the same card. We literally just got the same card again. I feel a little bit stuck at the moment when it comes to SBCs and what to do with certain players. So instead, I'm going to head back into divisions. We're going from division seven to division six. Hopefully we could do it quickly. And we have this team that we are working with at the moment. Um, again, I, I, I personally think it's an okay team for the division we're in. One win away from division six and then some big changes are coming team's been playing great Pirlo only has 10 games left on him that's a bit scary opponent's team is rocking an old block in net the rest of the team is phenomenal if we can open up right and score instantly that would be great and we do 
Oh, man, that could be two. What a ball over the top shot into the back of the net. Hamilton hits again, 2-0, and over the top from downtown, and instantly we are going to force a super fast rage quit, and we are going to advance into division number six, another division out of the way, when I'm going to make the most controversial risky decision of the account so far this does feel good though man one more division it will be halfway through speaking of this team you know how i just said i was going to make a controversial move chavi will no longer be a part of the team which is crazy and also this amazing striker that has 25 goals for us will also no longer be a part of the team i've just unlocked a 91 rated bobby moore which is super cool but he will not touch the field for us he won't even see the team so without thinking about it too much as great as chavi was for 12 games i'm gonna hope and pray i get something a little bit better and i'm not gonna think too much about it i'm going directly in i'm completing a huge 92 plus rated spc that way i don't have to throw away that 89 rated card and i'm gonna hope that i get a starter that lasts with us all the way to elite here we go man please 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 i risked it for the biscuit and some will say the risk did not pay off. And I am going to take the striker as we lost our striker. This team has pulled off almost the unbelievable. So I took a second, I took a break, and I went into weekend league. And I messed up because I played qualifiers and I won six games legit, right? But I gave my last two games away and I didn't realize that it was actually by winning. I thought it was by just playing because it says play six games, but when you read up, it says play and win. It's just another way to get a couple extra packs. So that's why I did that. Um, and I, I thought it was pretty smart. Uh, with that being said, I am going to open this 84 by two and I actually might mess around with the weekend league. I'm going to discard this. We'll get it back. Um, I, I might mess around with the weekend league because again, if I get 10 games done, it's like a, I get like an 80... I don't know, like an 83, 83 by 11 or something like that. And I think that pack is just really good. So this team has pulled off almost the unbelievable. I am 6-1 in the weekend league right now, and I should be 7-0, and right? But I got to disconnect. Otherwise, we would be cooking at 7-0 and right now. But it's okay because 6-1 is enough for us to get our objectives complete. When I started this, I didn't think I was going to mess with the weekend league. But these are just too many, good, too, too many good packs to say no to. And if I win three more games, I get an 83 by 20. So... I gotta just pick up three more wins in the weekend league. Now though, let's hope that these packs pay out something big. We'll start off with a nice little mega pack. Unfortunately, no special card there. So no big upgrade coming to the team. Will I finish the weekend league? I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. We get a special card from an 82 by... Oh, I was about to say, if it's that right back again, I'm gonna go crazy. It's not, but it's also not a team of the season. Oh, it's Masorano. Nice! That is a big upgrade for the starting 11. Time for the two weekend league packs. Let's go with the 83 by 10 first. We'll start off with that one. Special. Let's go, baby. Can we get double special? Can we get double, 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 double? Ooh, nice. It looks like it's going to be Joan Cancelo. Very nice. And it's going to flip to a high overall card. This is a newer card from like the, the Copa America, I think. It's going to flip. Who is it? All right, we take it. A 91 rated striker with 90 pace. Do we need a striker? Not necessarily because the striker I have has been going insane, but we will take that for sure. Can this guy go in another position? Nah, we'll figure it out. Let's get one more starter here. 85 by two. Again, another, another special card coming from uh, the weekend league. So wasn't wasting my time at all. And it's going to be a hero card, a hero foot birthday. This could be big lads. This could be big. A hey, walkout dinga. Oh, is that a birthday? Is that for birthday? Oh, why was I thinking? I mean, why was I thinking icon, bro? Are you serious? We're also getting an upgrade at center back with Masorano, the, the, the La Liga center back, the uh, Barcelona legend. And the chemistry actually helped a lot as well. The right back position, we're also going to go with Joan Cancelo, who's kind of a nice little upgrade as well. And it's good for chemistry. So all around, the team's really coming together. Really nice. I'll put Pirlo back in and we'll try to win three more games in the weekend league to unlock some more packs. Never used foot champions as a way to get packs, but I took myself to 11 wins since I was six and one and we were banging out objectives, I might as well get us to like 11 wins and call it there. I didn't want this to be about 
weekend league because that all determined like if you get rank one it's gonna make it much easier for you to get all the way up really quickly so 11 wins is a good place for us i wasn't really expecting this to be part of what i was doing here but hey man it worked out objectives in this here we're gonna open our rewards first then we'll go get the objective stuff the last objective we have to complain then we'll fix the team and then we'll complete complete our continue our, our journey going up up uh uh, uh in the, the rivals to beat this game we'll start off with our first one where we get a beautiful team of the season which either can go into our starting 11 or can help us uh, complete SBCs. I think he's going into the starting 11. I need a midfielder. We then go to pick up another card. And yes, we get a Berbatov 93 overall. I think this can go into an SBC as I already have two strikers. So I don't really necessarily need Berbatov and he can't go anywhere except for strikers and forward. So this is going into an SBC. We then get a 95 plus and a 95 plus and this is where we hope we get super lucky. Here we go. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Up and we get a Joao Neves to kick it off, or we can go somewhere different. Um, for chemistry wise, I, I don't I always forget how these cards because I wasn't playing a lot during the Euro. I always forget which one gets like full chem instantly. Does that make sense? This is a winger, which a winger would be really, really good for us, or I could take a midfielder. Um, can he go on the left? He can go left wing or right wing. Uh, very interesting here. Or I could take Joao Neves. Um, I'm going to go with the winger. We're going to go with the winger. Um, yeah, we're going with the winger. I think that was a smart choice. And the last one is going to give us... Okay, we could take a Ter Stegen, a Kimmich, or an Eriksson. I want to let y'all know that my back line, my goalkeeper is absolutely horrendous. Like the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. But at the same time... Um, uh, uh, I could use extra mid. He could play right back or the midfield, which comes in to like super help us later on down the line. My goalkeeper is really, really bad though. Um, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to go with, I'm so confused. I'm going to go, do I go Kimmich or I'm going to go Kimmich, bro. I feel like we'll get a goalie. I don't know if I made a mistake there, bros. I probably made a big mistake. Hey man, I did what I had to do and I feel like I made a mistake. We now have 52,000 coins, so I can buy some players as well, which is really nice. We got a couple packs to open up. We got an 85 plus three. We'll go with that one first. We are going to get a special card out of this one, which is lovely. It's going to be Belgium center back. Belgium center back. Wait, Belgium center back. I Okay, this is going to flip to an icon? I'm so confused. There's also an icon in here? Company's great. We're going to use company. I thought I saw the icon logo. Ah, oh, I must have saw the hero logo. My bad, y'all. Um, company's a great pickup, if I'm being honest. He's going directly into the starting 11. Two more packs remaining, a rare player, and also a uh, uh, ultimate pack. By the way, these are sellable, so if we want to move them to make coins, we can do that. We're going to get Raquel May here. I don't know if Raquel May will actually sell for anything. I could put him up on the market, but I doubt he'll go for anything. Um, so there's that. And I also am going to go ahead and put this lad up on there uh, to see if he actually sells. But we'll keep Raquel May for now to see if he goes into our team or not. The ultimate pack is the last one. We're going to start off here with a... Oh, Kulashevsky. That's the goat right there. Kulashevsky. Ooh, oh, it's only a gold. <laughs> ah, it's only the gold. We get a goalkeeper. Bundesliga goalkeeper. 88 overall. So we did end up getting a goalie at the end of the day, but Ter Stegen would have been better. This is pretty much what my team looked like in the weekend league. And now we're going to make some huge upgrades. Regardless, right now we have a bunch of fodder. We have a bunch of fodder down here as well. We won't touch the starting 11. So I'm pretty sure I can go complete another SBC that will make this team a little bit better. And we can start banging out more rival games and working our ourselves all the way to the top division we played foot champions for a reason though we just unlocked Fabinho, which is a massive w welcome to the team this absolute stud who can play the center back role which is amazing for us i also have an 83 by 20 because we got 16 wins in the weekend league or playing foot champions also we're gonna unlock an 83 by 5 so a lot of big packs about to happen hopefully i get something from this 83 by 20 can we see a special we do see a special and it's German special right back is that's the, that's gonna be the same girl we've got a hundred times we got to go straight into SBCs we're also getting a nice car in the back though that's it that's a Copa America car a Copa America car this could be big please don't be a duplicate is it's not a duplicate I think it's a center back it is it's not it's a defensive mid it's Alvarez defensive mid but you know what I actually might be very happy with that Alvarez let me be honest with you
you. Also, I got Fardo to complete an SBC now. We're cooking. Gotta be honest with you, I went to Fabingo. I went to Alvarez, the center back position. I obviously could go back to company. That will be something that I most likely probably do. But my cam is starting to be really affected on Joan Cancelo, Turney, and my boy Vinny Jr. if we opt to go with those players. But we do have fodder to complete SBC, so let's go get some SBCs done so let's see if we can pick up a center mid that kind of helps us get chemistry all over the field. The next upgrade was pretty easy. All I had to do was give up a Berbatov and one duplicate and three special cards. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we are going to be bringing in the Portuguese beast himself, Ricardo Carvalho, upgrading our center back position to a beautiful, 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 brand new 96 rated pink center back this is exciting i have two team of the season so i've decided to do an 84 by 10 with saint just and see if we get some more fodder because i'm eyeing a pink footies one more pink footy spc i want to complete if we could get any starter or special card from this that would be so clutch it's gonna start off spanish striker spanish striker we don't icon that means it's gonna be two in here we will take that raul jimenez i mean raul the legend and then the right back sanchez who honestly, maybe I could use them. A lot of fodder though, man. We are definitely gonna complete the SBC I wanted now, that's for sure. First part of the SBC is officially complete. I am really sad that this SBC takes a team of the season, but it's a team of the season that I don't mind giving up. And now I got my brand new left back that I've been eyeing for a while. 96 rated Robertson from Liverpool is officially going into the team. And that means our back line is looking great with an upgrade of Robertson and an upgrade of Ricardo Cavallo and potentially Porto's right back as well. That's huge. I wish I could do another 84 by 10, but I have no team of the seasons. Team now looks like this. I'm eyeing a new center mid and maybe even upgrading the forwards a little bit more, but I need team of the seasons to complete SBCs. I'm kind of stumped right now. I could discard all these players right here to get some coins, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to discard Raquelme. I'm going to discard my specials to get me an extra 20, 20k before I hit the market. First thing I'm doing is bringing in McKenny for 14,000 coins. I feel like that's just a steal. I still got 64k. Next thing I'm doing is bringing in Beasley. I just know this card is amazing, so I'm snatching him up. It's more of like a luxury buy, but I still have like 24,000, 28,000 coins. I really have not liked this card from West. West Ham at all so I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the bench from now and run this team here I feel like this team is very nice now before I waste any more money or spend any more money I'm gonna head into more games and try to go up more divisions and I'll figure out exactly what I need but right now the team has really come along I'm going for it hope I'm not making a mistake I'm picking up a team of the season by giving a lot of fodder because I have one more idea it's a 91 rated team of the season. Really hope I'm not making a mistake. I got the first part done. I'm sending a lot of fodder for this. I'm really gambling here because I'm giving up a starter that I purchased. I'm giving up a goalie and I'm giving up a right, right wing player that I was using. I don't necessarily need him, but I did need the goalie and the midfielder. I really hope I get a starter here, lads, because if I don't, we could be in a tad bit of trouble. We just completed the 94 plus. Hopefully, like I said, we get a starter. That's what I'm hoping for. Please, EA, don't let us down. This is a big moment in the episode. Who do we get? We get Zaha. We get Zaha. What a hit. Got to replace what we lost. I'm picking up my boy Ba at the right back position. One of my favorite players at Benfica either way. I brought back McKenny. I only got 3K and I need a goalie. Oh man, I messed up. Got 10 of them. Mo Salah's some good fodder. Got an 87 as well. Hey, Chavi's back and there's Donnarumma. Ooh, what do I do here? Chavi or Donnarumma? I do miss my boy Chavi. Oh man, what's the decision? I think I'm gonna take Chavi. Oh, I still need a goalie. Got a defensive mid. We still don't have a goalie. We also got Kevin De Bruyne, 91 rated, nice. We're going with Nick Pope. The GOAT is back. Let's do this. Time for us to destroy divisions. Kinda crazy, but if I bench Pope, if I bench McKenny, we get full chem. Huh, do we care about full chem? For now, I say no, actually, we do. We care for full chem. Uh, McKenny might have to get sold. Either way, this is our starting 11. Let's go play rivals. Well, that was easy. We are officially in division number five. We got a lot of work to do, but we are really cruising now. We got to bang out more divisions. Division five was amazing. We did it undefeated. We won nine nil the last game to force a rage quit. And we're officially into division four where this should start really heating up now. One win, we're in division three. I can't even see his team. Interesting. Shoot that. 
Man, this card is so broken. What an amazing striker. He's so good. 1-0. What? Hey, penalty. Yes, penalty, penalty. Nice, 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 nice. Penalty for the boys. Oh, I miss a lot with Fabingo. I probably should change him. Hey, he scored. Let's go, man. 3-1. Nice. Good first half so far. Nice. Cooked him. What a play, bro. Hey, that keeper got sent to another planet, bro. You good, G? This striker is so good, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. That division was such a vibe. This is the only player that didn't rage quit. We made everybody rage quit, and I probably got through that division in, in uh, less than 40 minutes. It was so quickly. We're now into Division 3, where hopefully it goes as great as Division 4 did, but I'm pretty sure it's going to start getting really hard soon. Once again, we're just one win away. We also get to bring in a brand new car. Card. It's a 94 Mertens, which we're unlocking from unlocking another objective level. This is a big upgrade. At three packs right here, I'll let you know if I get anything good. Do get a special. I'm hoping for a goalie. A goalie would be amazing. It is going to be an, a hero. It's going to be a hero and an icon. It's a birthday icon, but it's Raquel May again, which means we don't get a goalie. That's unfortunate. My opponent's team, a great one. We have Mertens. Hopefully he can help us. Let's go. Good goal to kick it off. 1-0, two minutes in. Great find. Finesse it. Beautifully done. 2-0, 12 minutes in. We are cooking. Play him. He's on. He's on. Around the keeper. 3-0. Hat trick for the striker. I can't tell you how phenomenal this card has been for us. It took 17, but my opponent finally decided to let us leave the game. We are officially into Division 2. That division was amazing. It went by super fast. We only had one really hard game. Now it's Division 2, man. Division 2, Division 1. This is where the real deal begins, I would imagine. Hopefully, we go through it with as much ease as the rest. And the vibes of Division 2 have been immaculate. We are one win away from going into Division 1. I've been chilling here, listening to some music. It's been great. It's been amazing. Merton's been killing it. Our opponent's team, another good one. Hopefully, we can still win it. I just got dunked on. Ah... His name is AA9. Ain't no way I'm playing against someone named A. His team name is AA9. Dude, no. Look, his team name is AA9, bro. What? We could be down more. Ah, oh, we're down by two, bro. No way. Come on. Oh, my goodness. I've missed three now, dude. Oh, we're creating. We're creating. Hit it. Let's go, dude. I've missed three chances, but we finally score one. Come on. Beasley. Yes, baby. 2-2. Two, two. Big, big. Because if we tie here, we don't go down. We stay at the notch that we're at. So we're, we're in a good spot right now, man. Keep fighting. Hit it. Ba. Vamos, ba. Meu benfiquista, ba. Come on. Get in. Yes, boys. 4-2. Come on. Ball roll him. Put it in, put it in. Yes! 5-2! What a big comeback, guys! Come on! If this is a viewer, because I've, I've I've barely ever seen anybody rock the name AA9, but it could be a coincidence. If it is, I love you and shout out to you, man. Thank you for watching the content. The second thing, I, I, I truly, that means the world to me, man. I appreciate you, man. Especially, especially the fact that you're rocking the name in the game. That's crazy. Um, with that being said, um, honestly, I feel like we low-key beat the game already, and I'm going to explain why. I've just made it to division number one without losing or tying a game. I've only lost a game in the weekend league. I have not lost the game in rivals at all. And we're like six wins away from elite, which is the biggest division in the game. But to make it here without tying or losing a game, that for me is just crazy. We got a lot of wins to pick up, man. Hopefully we could do it. We are still undefeated and we are one game away from Elite. I've never done it before. I've never made it to Elite without tying or losing a game. That's never happened ever, ever in any FIFA for me. Um, but it's a, it, it potentially could happen right now. My man, Nick Pope, still a club legend, still part of the team. Uh, we're killing it, man. We're having so much fun. Hopefully we can win this last game and get to Elite. My opponent's team for the most important game of the episode. Ooh, VVD, Delit. Ah, very nice team. Neymar and Vinicius Jr. as well. Very good, very good. Beasley? Come on! Man, I've shot against that VVD about 10 times. Finally, we score. Let's go, Beasley. I signed him, and he's about to score one of the most important goals of the video, if we can win it. 
Beasley? He's done it again! Big Beasley! Big Beasley! 2-0. Why is it broken up top, bro? It's 2-0 right now. No, dude. I played Neymar on side, bro. I can't switch. 2-2. Two, two, I couldn't switch. Ah, come on, man. Come on, man. What are we doing? Someone get there? No way. 3-2. Wow, what a choke, dude. This is a big choke on me right here, man. This is a big choke on me. Let's go, baby. 3-3. Three, three. Come on, man. Shoot it. Let's go. Big comeback. Big comeback, baby. Hitting the gritty right back with my boy Chavi. Come on, Chavi. Good goal, baby. Vamos, vamos, vamos. There's no way, dude. Yes! Come on! Big, yo, hit the gritty, hit the gritty, hit the gritty. Come on! Woo! Man, I made a bet. I shot the ball wrong. The keeper saved it, but luckily it fell back to my Zaha, and Zaha tucks it in, and it's 5-2 with 10 minutes. See this game out. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's go. And the, yes, dude! That is so sick, bro. We were winning. We started losing. He was doing the gritty, and we hit the comeback, and we win, and we go undefeated. Not even even a tie in rivals we absolutely slayed lads we just beat fc 24 literally in like 24 hours pretty much and we went without losing the only reason it wasn't even faster is because i played the weekend league had i avoided the weekend league i would have been done with rivals so much earlier but weekend league kind of made us like you know take a little bit more time and weekend league the only place we took losses like literally the only place we took losses I mean, if you do the math right there, you'll see it right there, bros. We took like, remember I gave away my wins in qualifiers, if you guys remember that. And then the rest of the games after we got to 11 wins, we gave them away. And I might've lost like, I think I took a disconnect and I lost two games and then we gave the rest away in weekend league. So that's where the 15 losses come from. There is no losses or ties in rivals at all. We've never lost. That's why it was so easy to do because we were streaking the whole time. These are the 11 warriors that helped us do it. And if I'm being honest with you, the reason we did it so easy is because of this card right here. This card is one of the best strikers I've ever used in any FIFA ever. 68 games played with 163 goals and 60 assists is absolutely out of this world crazy. It's a card when I packed him, I didn't even think twice about it, but never did I think he was gonna do what he did. This card was phenomenal. This card I really didn't like. When we first got her, I was really excited. I thought she was gonna be the star of the show because she had 99 pace, but I ended up benching her because she barely went positive on goals she did get a lot of assists but she really didn't do what i needed her to do beasley was such an important pickup because down that left side in the 442 he helped us defend so nicely and was able to kind of help the left back at times and get goals and assists so he was really important Zaha was awesome, man. We ended up ch taking a chance. We got him. We put him into the starting 11 after taking a real big chance. And he picked up 55 assists in 38 games and scored 37 goals. That's crazy. The formation I did it in, I only ever played the 4-4-2. With these were my custom tactics for it. I played Zaha and my boy Nicholas, I think his name is, at the striker position. Uh... Uh, Kimmich and Z uh, and Chavi in the middle with Mertens and Beasley on the wing uh, and then the back line as you guys can see it guys that was absolutely amazing we just took a team from uh, Division 10 to Elite without spending any money in pretty much 24 hours and on top of all of that we even got some weekend league in where we picked up 11 wins with a team that was way worse than this shout out to my boy Nick Pope for playing 38 games and destroying every division all the way to elite i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up make sure to, to subscribe i appreciate you guys and on what what player of this team in the comments down below would you take for your starting 11 do any of these guys make your starting 11 i would say probably none of them maybe ricardo carvalho thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you next time peace